Okay, welcome back to the kitchen. It's time for you and I to do some cooking together for the final time of the year. And like I said, I promised you appetizers that were going to be great for New Year's Eve, no matter if you're just having your family together or maybe you're enjoying being with family virtually. These are going to be easy things. And what I love about this recipe is there's very few ingredients, but it brings big flavor. So what we're making is Brussels Brussels sprout kebabs. Okay, Brussels sprouts. You either love them or you hate them. Alexis, what you think? You know what? I like them, but I just don't like how they make certain people react. So oh, therefore, okay. sometimes, depending on who I'm eating with, we may or may not be having Brussels sprouts. Ah, you know, people always have a Brussels sprout reaction. People mm -hmm. either love them or what I hear a lot is, oh, I used to hate them until I had them this way. Mm -hmm. And usually that way is roasted in the oven mm -hmm. because they get nice and crispy. And then some people saute them with a little bacon, dare yeah, we say it. I love that. They are so good that way. Mm -hmm. So what I did was just slice them in half, all right, because we're going to make Brussels sprout kebabs. So this is kind of fun, super simple. Then I've got chicken sausage right here. So this is just something different. Whenever you you get chicken sausage. The one I've got right here is this brand, Roasted Pepper and Asiago from Alfresco. I, I happen to really like these. They're already cooked. So you're just, we're going to like skewer them. Then we're going to put them in the oven at 450, super okay. high. So they just get crispy on the edges. All right. Okay. So I've got these little skewers right here. And you just go ahead and build your teeny kebab. This is probably the hardest part of it, is just putting this together. Mm -hmm. And then you put a sausage on there, okay? <laughs> and you can do as many or as few as you want. But once you have them on your baking sheet, you are going to drizzle on a little bit of EVOO, olive oil, a little bit of salt. I hope you've learned from me that a little bit of salt goes a long way. Mm -hmm. And it is our flavor magnifier, right? So don't leave that out. And then another flavor booster, these are in season, oranges, caracaras, whatever variety of orange you like. It just adds this nice bright pop, okay? Ooh. And it's also kind of reminiscent of festive times. Yeah, no, definitely. And I love that you're using this meat because, for instance, for folks like my husband who don't really eat any red meat yeah. or, you know, we, I was just telling you, we eat chicken everything or like chicken or turkey. So this is a great alternative. You guys need variety, right? Yes, please. <laughs> She's help, like, please help, help me, me out. Okay. <laughs> help you, help me, help you, help me. Yes. <laughs> okay. So then thyme. All right. I happen to get a hold of some fresh thyme. This is what it looks like. And what I love about thyme is it's got this woodsy flavor. And all you have to do is take your little fingers and pull back the leaves. So it doesn't, and even if some of the stems gets on there, that's fine too. But you only need a little bit, so there's no chopping involved. This is just a recipe that's really simple to mm. put together. Okay, so I toss those around. And then the last thing that we want, we already used the orange zest. Well, we want the juice of the orange. Ooh, yeah. So I, I love to do that with an ingredient, kind of like we did roasting the garlic yesterday. Just take one thing, but go the extra mile with it. Yes. You should those... make use of your budget then, too. Uh, yeah. You know I love to make use of our budget. Yeah. And you know what I love about whenever you use any type of juice, whether it be like orange juice or maybe like a little lemon mm -hmm. juice or whatever, is that it just makes it seem so much more well thought out. Yeah. <laughs> and when you're talking about your recipe and you say, guess what I did? I right. used the zest and, and the you juice. You don't say anything and they're like, ooh, is there a hint of, and it's just, it's a conversation starter. So I love That's it. That's exactly right. <laughs> what is that? That's yeah. orange juice and orange zest. <laughs> okay, so here's what you've got. These, oh, look at this, this crispiness on ooh, the sprouts. Good. They are so delicious. Uh, Brussels sprouts are also good cancer fighters. They're mm. like uh, cousins with cauliflower and broccoli. Okay. So that veggie family is called the cruciferous family and i remember it like sea cancer fighting vegetables yeah. okay so we take all those we're going to put them on our tray it looks you so pretty see those right here they are they're beautiful and they're such a deep flavor they really are oh brussels sprouts i can't say enough about them but usually i i had somebody like see me in a store and give me brussels sprout condemnation and say <laughs> i can't believe you're cooking with brussels sprouts why would anybody eat them and i'm like that's how i feel about cilantro but you need to try Wait. Brussels sprouts and you need to try them the right way. Yes. A lot of times we've had something as a kid like that boiled spinach in the cafeteria and then we oh, think yeah. we hate it until and we have it the right way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now okay. what are we doing now? So now we're making a sauce. Okay. Similar ingredients but I'm using balsamic syrup. Okay. Ooh. It's delicious on its own but I squeezed a little bit of orange in it and then a little bit of that thyme. We're just oh, going to kind of whisk pop. that. There's my whisk. We're going to whisk it together. Oh I love and this. And then here's what I do you guys. You're going to take that orange and you're going to use it one more way as a little bowl Ooh. for your sauce. So I just scooped out the orange, gave it legs to stand on. Just 
just by slicing a little bit off the bottom, okay? okay? And then you pour your sauce in. Oh, how awesome. So this is, that? is something that is so fun and easy. Let me show you the dip real fast. I know we got to go, but there you have it. Nice little appetizer wow. for New Year's or I mean, these would be great the anyway, next day. Use yeah. them for lunch, whatever you want to do with them. I love this. Ooh, this is so good. I can't wait to get into it. And you know what? It's going to continue to be good. You can like just have these. Oh, I'm just so excited about it. Oh, All right.